Hey everyone, Derek Johnson from Tatango.com. Uh, today we actually have a user submitted question and if you have a user submitted question you can submit it at Derek at Tatango.com, D-E-R-E-K. It will go right to me and hopefully I'll be able to answer your question right here on the whiteboard. So today the question was, with the popularity of check-in services like Foursquare, Facebook and Gowalla, uh, how can I incorporate those into an SMS marketing campaign? And to be honest, I didn't really have an answer, so I sat down and I figured it out. I think I have something that will work if you're interested in this. So here's how it works. Let's say you're a coffee, you know, a coffee stand or a coffee place, and you have an SMS marketing campaign that is already running. You have maybe 250 customers opted into your SMS campaign. Well, what you would do is you'd send out a text message, and instead of putting, you know, show this text message for 50% off a scone with the purchase of a, you know, a large coffee. What you're going to do this time is you're going to incorporate a check-in service into the SMS. So what you're going to say in the SMS message is you're going to say, you know, check in today on Gowalla or Foursquare Facebook uh, by 5 p.m. and receive a free coffee with the purchase of a scone. So now, and what you want to do is you want to put obviously, you know, a link obviously to Foursquare, Gowalla or the, the check-in page that you're trying to direct them to. Uh, now what you're doing is you're encouraging them to, or you're spurring the action via SMS, but not giving them the discount in the SMS message. Pretty cool. So what you would do is you'd send the message out to everybody. Everybody would get the message and say, check in today. Uh, they would go, wow, I need to get there by 5 p.m. They would run over to the restaurant or the coffee place or the business, and they would go on their phone, check in, and they'd receive the discount. The reason why businesses are interested in this is that when they check in, uh, it promotes their check-in to all their you know, followers. So let's say I have 500 friends on Facebook. If I say, you know, show this text message, and I walk in and I show the text message, that doesn't really get promoted to anybody. It's, it's a very private interaction. But if I check in to receive something once I'm at the, you know, at the coffee place, now it's being promoted to everybody on my friends list. So now this you know, business is getting brand exposure from me. Um, which is awesome, you know, for, for any business that, that's a great, you know, use of both SMS and a check-in service. The only problem right now, which you have to be aware of and you have to really know your customers to figure out, you know, if they fall within this category, is a study was actually just released, I think, a couple days ago, uh, and it said 5% of cell phone users use a check-in service. Well, to be honest, if you're sending a message to 100 people and only 5 people, you know, can actually check in, those 95 people are going to be pretty mad um, that they are not able to receive the discount. Now, obviously, in the uh, in the text message, you could put a link where people could register for one of these check-in services. That might help a little bit. Um, but the problem is, you know, even right now, 40% of people have a smartphone. You know, 60% of people won't even be able to register for one of those check-in services. So. You have to really, as a business owner, if you're interested in what I'm talking about, you have to look at your customer base and figure out, you know, are they the type of customer, you know, is the majority of your customers checking in? Do they have smartphones? And if they are, this is an amazing way, you know, to number one, get customers through your door, and number two, get brand exposure once they're redeeming the coupon. But remember, right now, 5% of you know, cell phone users use check-in services. So be very, very careful before launching something like this with your SMS campaign. Anyway, if you guys have questions, uh, I'd love to answer them up here. You know, I, I sometimes can't you know, come up with all this stuff myself. Uh, email me, Derek at Tatango.com, D-E-R-E-K at Tatango.com, and I'd love to answer them. Talk to you guys soon.